啊，今天我们就玩这个一款比拼智商的游戏。说白了，我这个其实我这个是盗版啊，我这不是正版啊，我这是这是汉化组从那个网上下载的。最后请叔连你鼻子当黑头都敢看啊！好啊，我今天我们玩史丹利的史，丹利的预言，这个游戏很有创意啊，听说。呃，因为那个 Steam 平台下的正版吧，它好像是没有汉化，所以说我玩的是盗版。大家还是要支持正版。行，我开始游戏。我怕黑，纯黑。This is the story of a man named Stanley. 这是一个史丹利男人的故事。Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number. 我是四二七员工。Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room four two seven. And he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders. I'm at work. Do you need this? His desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what. I think this job I would like to take. This is what employee four two seven did. I want to know how much salary he got. Every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. I think this job has some meaning. This is a job. Four hundred five a month. 一扬指点键盘，史丹利是幸福的个屁，是不是？我不会，我会回来的。我会回来的。我会回来的。Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest. This computer has a very old look. As he came to his wits, it's like a 9598 computer. He got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Did it work? This is not a horror game, right? Four seven seven. 我这一个小房间都是我的吗？这应该是老板房吗？操，连个窗户都没有。这是几点？十一点二十。All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. 这个旁白。How hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. 他怎么在知道我在找东西？这个旁白为什么知道我在找东西？他是不是在监视我？啊？这个这个游戏你能不能搜集东西 ？Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. 啊，这个旁白很烦人、啊，我觉得。四二二，四二四，这不是个恐怖游戏是吧 ？Coffee， 哎，这个门开了，我感觉对这个旁白有满满的恶意呢。好像不需要啊，我们只需要去开。When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 好吧，我听他的啊。啊。Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay， 让我去找老板。如何解决与同事之间的不和？生闷气，给使用幻灯片来安抚员工，确保你的幻灯片在标题的圆润蓝色画下。什么玩意儿了？假的，这应该是会议室啊。然而没什么线索。杂物室。Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. 闭嘴！这
was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to do with, he'd be justified in some way. He's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. Okay, I'll go. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'll first listen to him. I'll first listen to him. Let's see if he can do something. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, two eight four five. Two eight four five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. You didn't tell him? 二，八，四，五。Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Okay. Okay, I came to a place. Ah, there's some evil here. Okay, here. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? When for you, why did he want to give me an unpaid work job? This question would not go unanswered. I like this job, right? Only if you get an unpaid job, you can get a pay rise. Not like we every day work so hard. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. 精神控制中心，你确定不是 X 战警吗？ OK， 我看弹幕。The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? 难道这有什么巨大的阴谋吗？ Now the monitors jumped. What? Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place. Where freedom meant nothing. I'm not a free person. Ah, this time the clock is always being watched. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? You, what are you trying to express? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Why does this person talk with a certain kind of charm? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions: happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he 
would dismantle the controls once and for all. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place. 没错，我就是来终结这一切的。没人会想喜欢这个无聊的工作。然后呢？开，啊的关，啊的开，啊的关，啊的开，啊的关，啊的开，啊的关。Rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles. I'm just so free now. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him. I think this behind the scenes is completely nonsense. 他说我已经自由了，可是我从我开始操作到现在，我都是听在他的指引。我怎么可能摆脱他的指引？我我根本就没有自由，好吗？我根本就没有自由啊！我觉得，而且这是现实吗 ？Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen, and Stanley was happy. I think there's a problem because I've been listening to the behind the scenes talk, like a behind the scenes manipulation. So I don't have freedom, right? I came to this place, I'm not where I want to come from, right? The game is played for the second time. All of his co-workers were gone. Okay, I won't listen to him. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps. I this time, I won't stop listening to this. Stop listening to him. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, I just went to the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I just won't listen to him. 对不对？我就不听你的，凭什么听你的？老子要自由，老子有人权。Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. 怎么的 ？Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. 原地欣赏你妹啊 ！To get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. 我就不走左边第一个，我就走前面这个。Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Hmm. You think I will let you win? Ah, old is old. Old is want to do what you want to do. You have cards, swipe cards. This game doesn't jump. Look, Stanley. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. 
Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Hey, Maisa! Stanley, your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. How did I get married? Did I get married? Did I get married? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you could Fuck you! Your Fuck you, her, mother! Then pick up the phone. I want to call this phone. <laughs> gotcha! Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? They'd want to commit their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going Fuck on. You. Mother fuck you. Motherfucker. This is a very sad story about the death of a man what? named Stanley. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's changing. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Fuck! And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. So, he went further. He imagined that he could go through open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. What? It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. 
But there is no answer. How could? 我怎么感觉要变成 ？In reality, all he's doing. 我开头的那个房间了呢 ？He always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. 这不是刚才那电脑吗？这不是四二七吗？这不我的桌子吗 ？And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. Very 讨厌这个旁白，非常非常讨厌他。Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Fuck you! Fuck you! What the fuck? What the fuck? 我就卡在这儿了吗？啊，重新游戏啊，重新游戏吧。Could it mean? 去你大爷 ！Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. 老子才不去呢！ When Stanley came to a set of two, of them, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow! Yes, this room. What yeah, a beautiful, room. beautiful. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room.、Hmm. Life without having experienced this room、嗯、was now too horrible even to consider. 嗯，然后呢 ？Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really、嗯、worth it. 嗯，然后呢？我就不走，我就在这儿，因为刚才看弹幕有人说，一直在这儿会有什么事情发生。Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. 这他妈这公司根本就没有人吧，就我一个人。Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more. He decided that the game was trying to send him a message. I think this side seems to know what I'm thinking. Why does he know what I'm thinking? Okay, you won. I'm going. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to Fuck get you. back to business. Stanley was so bad at、Fuck、following、you. directions; it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. 乱用货梯罚款一千一美金，跳下货梯罚款五千，还能跳吗 ？Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that, if... but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Can you die? 还能摔死吗 ？Fuck！ 旁白怎么不说话了呢？去去去，滚滚滚！这是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是不是 Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. You from the beginning really didn't have any good ideas. 
I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the store. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Hey, how the hell? I want something bad to happen. Hey, how the hell? I'm coming. How the hell? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. 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 二逼，有没有这么多二逼房间？哦。Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I just in red. Ah, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Fuck you! Fuck! 去你妹的！俺就喜欢 blue 的。I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. 你智障吗？我就喜欢 blue 的。Oh, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me see you. You see, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. This room is different from before. Ah, I added another room. Do you want to go in? I have a need to go in. Okay. And this door is very strange. Okay, I'm going to stop you there now. Tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critics. 这不还是那房间吗？ What? 老子不想在这儿。Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. My you soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. What? What? This is player list? What does this mean? This you. This is me. Four seven. 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 No. Seven hours. Seven seven minutes. What situation? 我要选择哪个门呢？左、中、右。我把这个选择权给你们，你们说我要走哪个门呢？第三个是吧？好，我们还走第三个。Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Fuck you! 
Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, what? the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the artwork will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four what, hours. What, 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 so four hours? Four hours of play to make sure it's effective. <coughs> be sure to keep notes on your experience. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But what? is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? What? Say this. I'm you from now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here. No, here. And then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes. It's upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. From the outside, you've only gotten half the experience. Please step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Fuck you, you <laughs> Yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Fuck you, coffee! Fuck you! 
Fuck you, Panta! Fuck you! 收音机，收音机！啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊 ！Fuck！ 哦 ，It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. 小王下来。Genius. 老子本来就是天才。No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through it. What? Panpai, don't talk. 这是哪儿？史丹利初次测试。这是哪个游戏？不行，不能跳去。我觉得这这这这好危险啊！好黑啊！我走走呀，这样。没有路啊，根本。我的 fuck！ 我只能选择跳下去。嗯嗯，妈，这是恐怖游戏吗？这选择加崩，这个，就感觉这个地方好像跟之前的游戏没有什么联系呢。有光。Hello， 有人没？电脑都开机了，多费电啊！帮你关了吧。四二七，这不又回来了吗？老子不想进去，老子不想进去。什么？哎呀！音频合合成、视频合成，我要在这做视频吗？关不了门呢？关不了门呢？我一直在关门啊！Wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now, I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me, someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh yes, yes. I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. 
，我还以为我赢了他。